Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial from this page of um, spring items from Seasons by Hannah Carlson. Now, as you can see, the sun is coming across the page, so I'm going to do this item here because as I come in, we will the sun will disappear um, from view. Hopefully, my camera will adjust and get a little bit brighter, or my lamp something that looks a little bit dark but anyway what we have here I think is um, some sort of new birds sticky birds pussy willows something like that I would call it myself I don't know what other people call um, call these and uh, I feel that the um, these little blooms might be sort of um, fluffy and the stems might be a little more woody but quite new young wood so I'm thinking I'm not going to go really dark brown for the stems I'm actually going to start with this um, earth green yellowish and do all the stem parts so I'm just gonna make a start but I'm going to go over it with something else to lighten it a little bit I'm just doing this as a sort of base really it's a little bit bigger this one but I'm not sure it will take that along because it's a lot the same but we'll see so uh, just uh, just work through it really and see how it goes I've just been trying to think about how to fit in my completed pages video for the end of the month because there's so many little series going on but uh, I'm gonna have to have a little look and rejiggle some of my videos. It can be a little bit confusing because um, sometimes um, I'm not sure whether I say to you in a video, oh, see you tomorrow for the next part of the series. And then it means that I have to um, do that series the next day. I, uh, I sometimes have to break up a series with various bits depending on what's what's going on really if someone sends me a book to review for example I like to um, do that as soon as possible which means that I end up um, maybe moving a few videos around to fit it in because I work a little bit ahead of myself so uh, it can sometimes be a bit disjointed I think but hopefully not too much I've also, um, after I've done, I'm going to make a couple of videos, I think, and then I'm going to go and s decide what to do for my sort of Easter themed videos. I mean, we've got the Easter egg right here on this page, and obviously that one will feature. I've got a, a new um, Easter. This seems a bit light compared to all the rest, so I'm just going to do it a little bit harder. Um, so I'm going to, I've put together a little Easter playlist, but I need to add to it this Easter. So I'm just sort of thinking about what to add in there, really. This is the um, May green, which is a nice, pretty, um, light, yellowy green. And I'm going to put that all over here now as well, just to brighten up the colour a bit. I didn't want it just this colour completely because I felt it might be a little bit too light. But I'm going to add it on top and then I will think about whether I want to do any parts a bit darker. So at the moment it's I'm keeping it reasonably even. So. Yeah, so I have a I've got I know I've got an Easter egg in one book or an egg. It's not it doesn't have to be an Easter egg, but I can color it. I've got the um Easter tinies which I can do some of which will be fun. Um, also spring tinies and things um, which I may do I'll have a think about that but I sort of want to try and do things from different books you know so we get a bit of a spread and I'm sure um, Rita Berman has some things in her spring book I'm sure um, I will might be able to find something in here but we've already got this series so I may not do another thing from here I'm thinking I have a feeling that Maria Trolley has something in hers but I think I'm just gonna have to get all my books together and just have a good look through them all each one which will be a lot of fun um, just looking through because it's it's a little bit embarrassing really I suppose sometimes I sort of forget which books I have 
you know, and what's in them. I've completely forgotten this bit. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes it's, uh, I've got a lot of books, so I don't, yeah, I don't always remember. But um, we'll see. Um, I'll see what I've got. Um, once I get my bookcase, I'll be able to um, see everything much better um, and see what I've got and, uh, you know, work it through more easily. But uh, it's still out of stock. Um, I did contact the company because they said on their website, um, don't contact us if things are open out of stock, just keep looking. I've been looking for weeks, so I contacted them and she said, it hasn't um, been discontinued, so it is likely to come back in stock. So, but we can't say when. But that's fair enough. But at least I know that I'm not sort of hanging on because I sort of thought, am I just hanging on and then I'm never going to get one and I need to start looking elsewhere. But it's just the perfect one for me because the colour is just right for the room. It sort of just about matches the other wooden furniture we have. So that's the first advantage. I'm going to sharpen my earth green yellowish and I'm going to do a little bit of it around the edges, I think. Um, so yeah, it matches the things in the room. Um, it has, um, it's sectioned a little bit so that it has little, each shelf ha is split in half which means that it's easier for me to organise my books because I've got quite a lot of... I would like to have a section for completed books, a section for books I haven't started. There's not many of those. Um, they're sort of my duplicates, really. Um, a section for Johanna Basford and a section for Hannah Carlson and Rita Berman and just sort of split out the different authors. I mean, they might not take a whole section. Um, and then maybe a section for books that I don't always do that often. Um, ones that I like to do a picture from each month and things like that. So I can just see them all. And uh, on the top of it, I can put some of... I've got a trolley with my pencils in. Um, one of these sort of um, Ikea trolleys. But my Prismacolors and my polychromos and a couple of other sets I've got um, my Georgione I think Georgione um, are too big to fit in the trolley so I have to sort of put them in the other way and uh, they look messy they keep falling on the floor I don't like my prismas falling on the floor so um, not so bad with these polys because they're strong <laughs> but um, so I uh, I would like to put them on the top so that they have a nice safe place. And it's not so high that I can't reach because um, I'm not as tall as the boys in my house. But I'm still tall. I'm 5'7". I'm still quite tall. <laughs> I feel really short. But uh, the boys are 6. My husband's 6'1". My boys are 6'2". So my one boy has really high... Um, shoes um his trainers have just got a lot of padding and they put extra height on him and he seems so tall but my little baby <laughs> but anyway um but i can reach the top which is really good so that's another advantage and it's the sort of right width to fit in the space that i've got and it's got no back but it's strong enough to be self-standing without being attached to the wall. It was important it had no back because there's a plug socket behind it which we need to be able to reach. Um, and it's got a radiator partly behind it so the heat will be able to come through. Not, It doesn't get that hot. I don't think it's going to spoil the books or anything. You know, It's not like they're oil paintings which don't like being too hot. Um, you know, I think it will be all fine. So uh, it's just was just the right thing. And also I get to the point where I really dislike shopping. I look and I look and I get, I get so bored. It's like they just haven't got what I want and I don't want to look through a million and one bookcases and not find what I want. So uh, it's just nice to have something in mind. 
this picture, this looks so dark, this um, camera. I'm just going to turn the light off and then on again. See whether it helps. No idea. Right. I'm happy with the stem work now. So basically we did a light yet layer of the earth green yellowish, then a light yet layer of may green. Then we went around earth green yellowish around the edge and I've just tidied up. I'm just going to sort of tidy up a few bits in the may green and then I'll be happy. Now I would quite like to put some yellow in these areas to really brighten them but these are going to be yellow so I want them to stand out of their own without having, I don't want them to be really warm and bright but I don't want them on the other hand to be too cold so um, I'm looking, I think I'm going to have to just look at the numbers, I think I'm going to use the light chrome yellow which is darkish in the sense that it's still a more lemony shade rather than an orangey shade but it's quite dark and I'm actually, excuse me, going to apply it quite dark so really um, a thick layer I'm thinking about those dots I might do those in the yellow as well, but I don't know how well they stand out. It's standing out quite well, I think. And actually, it's quite nice. I think they probably would be white, but I'm going to add some white in a minute with a pen, so you'll see. It's sort of tempting in a way to do them pink because it's sort of springtime but I really think yellow looks right for what I'm what I'm imagining they might be like if you know what I mean it's so sunny this afternoon it was really dark this morning and rainy and now when I come to record it's just not the right type of light but I need to get on and do a few of these because um, I want to. I was, I planned to do some this morning and it's just like, I planned it, I want to do it. Do you know what I mean? I got excited about which ones I'm going to do, and that sort of thing. I love yellow in a way. I find colouring with yellow quite tricky um, at times, um, trying to get it to show up or blend or whatever but I like colouring it's such a warm colour so nice now I think I'd like to just add a little orange now this isn't how I think this is the right colour but I'm going to use my artistic license and put a little bit of orange in just to brighten them right by the edge of the where the greenery is so this is actually dark chrome yellow it's not orange but it looks orange to me and I'm going to just put in a little bit down here at the bottom near the in fact I think I'm going to put a bit all over in little lines like there's little threads of orange you'll see why like that and in fact I think this no this isn't how it would look but you know it's okay so yeah my son sons were home this morning one of them didn't do much work he it's uh, it's that time of year where exams are sort of looming that soon um, it's still March their exams start at the very end of May but um, the homework is mainly revision so he wasn't really doing very much one of them the other one had a project to finish and he every time he'd start he I ask him how he's getting on he says I nearly done it I'll be able to hand it in today and he's been saying that for a week and I'm like come on just get it done you know, he's he's got a deadline next week anyway. 
but I was hoping he would have time for his teacher to have a look at it, but I don't know now. I think I'm going to do the dots in this colour. Now, I've been thinking about what the dots are supposed to be. I had thought they might be snow, but I didn't want to just colour them white. They could be magic. They could be pollen, which is how I'm colouring them. And I'm using this darker yellow slash orange, so it shows up better. There's with a small area, it's not always easy to see. But it could very easily be snow. But uh, with no background, you can't colour snow. Now, oh, that's a big bang, sorry. Now I'm going to use my fine white gel pen. This is the Jelly Roll. Sun's going in a little bit. And now I'm back out again. And to do some threads of white, I don't know, it's not showing up. Is it even working? The white, the thin one is really hard to see. No, I'm going to use a thicker one. I use the 8. The 8 shows up. I think that 5 might be running out. And I'm going to do some threads of white as if it's a bit fluffy. I didn't do any... I can see that there's none of this one on here. Um, that's how I think they would be, sort of with bits of fluff. So I think with the white, you can add that in. Now I really should have started on the far side, because now I'm going to struggle to do that far side without squidging the white pen everywhere. <laughs> Never mind. We'll see. While I'm just doing this, I just would like to remind you to please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, I've had a look at my figures and quite a lot of people who watch aren't subscribers. And when you subscribe, it's completely free and uh, you will get notifications when other videos come out. But you can click the bell, which is right next to the subscribe button, and just and say how many notifications you'd like. So you can control that yourself. So you won't necessarily get bombarded with messages saying there's new videos of mine coming out or new posts on my community tab or whatever, depending on what you want to have. So uh, it is, if you do want to find out, um, because I do post a lot of videos, so if you do want notifications, then make sure you go and tick that. But otherwise, you can, uh, as I say, get rid of it. You don't have to have it on there if you don't want it. Let's tip this book up like that so we can see. There we go. There it is. I'm just thinking, is it done? I think so. Um, I had thought about whiting out the edge of the flowers to make them look more fluffy, but I think it's they'll just sort of disappear into the um, into the background then. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. So there are our little. Um, I think I'm going to call them sticky buds. That's what we always used to call them when we were little, anyway. So there they are, pretty little florals. So that is me for today. Um, there will be. Um, I will do all of the items on this page. Not sure. Um, whether it will be a continuous series or whether there'll be a little break here and there. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.